Well, the real estate market is red hot right now. If you've already or if you're in a home, you can sit tight and wait it out. But that's not the case for some first time home buyers. Fox 5 I team's Dana Fowl joins us now with more on the links they're going to get a home. And I mean, it's wild right now, Dana. It really is. I you know, and that's not hyperbole. It's crazy out there right now. I mean, when most of us bought homes, we, you know, we looked at it first. We took our time. We'd think on it a few days, talk about it, then make an offer. That's not how it is right now. You have to make split second decisions, all sorts of compromises, and toss in a love letter. We moved from Minneapolis after falling in love with Atlanta a few years back. Young, married, and ready to start their own family, the Brants looked for permanent roots, their own home. We knew it would take some time, but that it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like it is now. It's really tough. Housing stock is low. After the 2008 housing market crash, home building stalled, and the build back is not fast. And this is just at the millennials, now the largest generation, are all looking for homes, it seems. So they write home sellers personalized letters. It brought such joy to us to see the photos of your family throughout. How specific love letters, as Jordan calls them. And to imagine our children growing up here too. They've lost so many homes on the market to quicker would-be buyers who offer well over the asking price. On the buyer side, I mean, it's just brutal. It's really, really challenging. So you have to know what it is that you really want and be ready to jump in. And Longtime realtor Cynthia Bear with Keller Williams says she's never seen anything like it. I mean, ever. Listen to this. I did have one recently that was 200000 above list price, yes. That's over an already beefy asking price. We got beat out by an all-cash offer our very last round. And that all-cash offer was $50,000 over yeah, listing price. First-time home buyers, much less most of us, can't compete with that. So they try other avenues to appeal to the seller. We're doing everything from waiving appraisals or having appraisal gaps to cutting down due diligence period. I have, have friends that have waived inspections in other areas and like that's something that I would never compromise or, or even consider. So here are some suggestions. House shop before you're ready so you can decide as a couple what you can live with, what you can't. Have your financing set before you start. Agree as a team how far you are willing to go. Set limits and try to make a connection with that seller. Your home is everything we're looking for and more. So I tell you, right after this interview, and they've been looking for months, they texted me to say they had made another offer over the weekend and it was accepted. They couldn't believe it. So they haven't gotten that far yet before. So they're thrilled. And they want to say to you, first time home buyers, don't get discouraged. Just keep at it. Yeah, Elise? I mean, gosh, what a struggle right now for so many. It's got to yeah. be in part because of these unbelievably low interest rates, right? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. They are really low, although they're starting to inch up. That could cool things a little bit, but it's really not expected to do too much. So what they were doing while they were waiting was continuing to save. Every time they would get declined, they would save some more money so that gave them more money to put down on their down payment by the time someone accepted their offer. Gosh, OK, glad in the end. Hopefully this house that their offer was accepted on is going to go through. I know. Jeez, <laughs> it's so crazy. And it's, it's like you, crazy. Hear, you hear from people, Dana, of, 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 you know, waving appraisals, waving inspections, going, you know, tens it's of scary. thousands of dollars above asking. And I price. don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how first time home buyers or young couples are coming up with this yeah, kind of money. I mean, either. we were all first time home buyers at one point and, you know, you're scraping all your pennies together to get that first house and you know more power to them hang in there Those are tough good luck everyone yeah. <laughs> everyone looking for a house <laughs> hang in there dana thank you